Hey there guys and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. It's time to go and challenge the Sunny Shore City Gym to earn badge number 8 and pretty much earn our free pass into the Pokemon League. Also off screen I've been slapping some seals on my Pokeballs so we're gonna get all sorts of cool effects now. And yeah here was the gym. Alright Flint out of the way. Should be feeling upbeat too. I finally recognize your toughness right away. Remember what you have to do? Hot shot give him battle. It's so hot he'll reignite his passion or something. Yeah, Flint, I'll see you with the Pokemon League when I inevitably kick your ass. Alright, Sunny Shore Gym. Gym number 8, Electric type Gym. Uh, see if I can remember... Yeah, I think I can remember how the puzzles in this gym are supposed to be fixed. Alright, put Gabite up front because Electric types Gabite will just eat those up. Pretty much Torterra and Gabite are going to be running the show here, and the rest isn't really going to do much, I believe. School kid with a Pachirisu. Oh no, such a fearsome opponent. Look, Gabite's got all these blue stars on him. It's really the only thing they had, and uh, I figured it, Gabite's blue, it works. And Super Fang, I forgot Pachirisu could learn that. That's really the only move it has that can do decent damage to anything. Because... I think its attack stats are weaker than, or maybe about on par with Pichu's or something. Pachirisu, I don't know what they were thinking, but that thing is absolutely awful. It has no use whatsoever. Or at least it does nothing that isn't done better by at least 15 other electric types. Uh, okay, I think I got it right. So up here we go, and battle that kid. Yes, no way to get around him without battling him. Learn the best battle techniques you around. Okay, kid, let's see what you got. See what wicked techniques they teach you here. Who get forest? Ooh, a magneton. Four times weak to earthquake. You might want to start running now, forest. Run, forest, run! Yes, that's a quote from Forest Gump. I also do impressions. You want to hear my PewDiePie impression? Hey there, bro. It's PewDiePie! Oh no, look, it's a barrel. Oh, let's run away, Mr. Barrel. Oh, I'm gonna rape around and rape Mr. Barrel. Rape, 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 rape everywhere. And that's my PewDiePie impression. It might not be very good, but uh, it's something. Like to see you guys do better. Post a video response with your best PewDiePie impression to this video. Let's make an ass out of that ass. Anyway, battle this guy. Oh boy, this is gonna be good. Let's see if he actually puts up a fight. Okay, see, seeing as how we just took down that Magneton with the greatest Vs, I think we can all see where this is headed. Actually, I do remember this gym being a lot less fun to fight because they definitely added a lot of new electric types in uh, Platinum. Because what did you have, as far as electric types go, in Diamond and Pearl? I think you had the Pikachu line, you had the Shinx line, and you had Pachirisu. And I believe that's about it. They added the Magnemite line in Platinum, the Electabuzz line, uh, Eevee and Jolteon. I think, I also Rotom, although I'm pretty sure you won't see a Rotom in this gym, which is a shame. There seems to be only one Rotom in the entire region. Anyway, he also has a couple of Luxios, which if they had Intimidate, they would actually give me some trouble, maybe. But the ults seem to be Rivalry Luxios, and those will simply die to Earthquake because they're not lowering my offenses. Yep, down it goes. So far, so good. The only thing that got a hit in with that Pachirisu, and only because it was slightly faster than Gabite was. That's like Pachirisu's best stat at speed, and it's like twice as high as all its other stats. Oh look, it's a Pikachu! Or another creepy kid dressed up as a Pikachu. Uh, what is wrong with people, with parents in this place, that they dress their children up like Pikachus? Really giving them some sort of Pikachu complex. Anyway, let's see what this thing can do. Agility. You're already faster than me, and then you decide, oh hey, let's boost my speed up a little further. What is the AI thinking sometimes? Honestly, I have yet to see a single competent AI in this game. Well, maybe I've encountered one along the way, but I don't really remember. 
but definitely 99% of the AI in Pokemon games is downright shit. I think we can pretty much say that. And it's especially hilarious in the first generation games. I was playing Pokemon Yellow the other day, and basically, uh, I don't remember what Pokemon it was, I think it was like a Weeping Bell or something, but it kept using poison powder on my Ivysaur because pretty much the first gen games work on a simple logic scheme. Use a move of a type that's super effective against the opponent's type. Ivysaur is a grass type, so he figured, let's use a poison move, it's super effective. Poison powder is a poison move, but it is also a poison move that doesn't do any damage. And because Ivysaur is also a poison type, which that logic loops apparently forgets about, it's also completely immune to poison powder. So basically that Weeping Bell just kept using poison powder on me and failing, and I just kept using Tackle or Cut or something and just killed him in like 5 hits or something. Pretty hysterical that was. So yeah, in the first gen game you can pretty much just completely screw over the AI by manipulating it like that. Anyway, just giving uh, some other guys, Rotom, Porygon, Z, give them some show time. I don't really want Gabite to hog all the spotlight now, can we? And Shadow Ball will kill these Pikachus just as easily as Earthquake would have. So there we go, down it goes. Alright, what else? Oh yeah, that was our final Pokemon. I was being serious, don't laugh at me, I mean it. It's kind of hard to take you seriously if you're wearing a bloody Pikachu costume. Although... I'll admit, I'm pretty sure I have a Pikachu costume in my closet somewhere as well. I remember being dressed up as Pikachu for Carnival... Uh, how many years ago? Oh, that's gotta be like... At least over 10 years ago. Probably like somewhere 13, 14 years ago or something. Anyway, a Raichu. Ooh, and it's actually packing a move that might pose a threat to me if it actually survives this earthquake. Which I rather doubt, because Raichu, even though it looks kind of pudgy, is not bulky at all. See, there we go. I do kind of like that they improved Raichu slightly in X and Y. I think they gave it like 10 extra speed stats or something. So, now it's actually pretty damn fast. So now you may actually have a reason to use Raichu over Pikachu with a light ball. Uh, let's see, how did this one work? Okay, battle this guy and then go over there, I believe. I will say the gym puzzles in this region are generally not very hard. I would say this one is probably the most confusing one. And this one's really not all that confusing at all, so says enough. Iron Tail. Okay, that's definitely a TM move. Did not see that coming. Other than TM moves, Electabuzz doesn't have a whole lot to hit ground types with. I think it gets swift and quick attack or something, but that should be about it. And look, Torterra has all these pretty flower petals coming off of him. If only they had the green sticker. Or a seal. Because the pink one doesn't really make sense because Torterra's leaves aren't pink. But whatever. Torterra doesn't give a shit about Iron Tail, goes for Earthquake, easily destroys the Electabuzz. Takes a while for the HP to drain, but it will go down eventually. I wonder, are they gonna have an Elekid in here somewhere along the line as well? But at least they're actually using fully evolved Pokemon, mostly. Oh, you should not have done that, my friend. He saw me use Earthquake, and yet he still goes for the Dig. And it's not like Dig is gonna do much to Torterra anyway, because Grass resists Ground, and Torterra's sky-high defenses. He'd be lucky to even knock my HP below 100. Anyway, your power of thrilling, I'm thrilled down to my toes. Yeah, I tend to have that effect on women. Alright, uh, put Torterra up front, because I don't really want Star Raptor to be used in this gym. Because honestly, Staraptor can't really do much here. I guess he can outspeed some of the electric types here and go for a return, which they don't resist. But flying moves are going to be useless. And I, I'm really going to have to be careful with Staraptor, because he can't really take hits well. Anyway, look, another Luxio. That's only like the third one so far. Well, I will say this gym has a decent amount of variety so far. We've seen, like, what, uh, Magnemite, Magneton, Pikachu, Raichu, 
I like the buzz. Luxio, that's six so far. That's not that bad. It's nearly all of the electric types in the game. Except for, of course, you know, Pichu and Shinx and Elicate, like all the really weak ones that they wouldn't use here. Oh yeah, and Pachirisu, I forgot about Pachirisu. But then again, they did use Magnemites, and Magnemites aren't exactly that hard to fight either. So, I don't see why they wouldn't put like an Elicate or a Shinx in here just for shits and giggles. Anyway, he got a Swagger on me, I believe. That might be, be a bit troublesome. Still doesn't do much damage to myself anyway. Crunch. Come on, Torterra. I place my faith in you. And that appears to be misplaced. Yeah, and he's only gonna outspeed me and kill me now, so... Better heal up. Or switch out. Into Star Raptor. Because Intimidate, Luxio is mainly a physical attacker. It can use special moves, just not very well. Especially Crunch. Yeah, that's good enough. Alright, return. Still don't get the name for that. I mean, use return and then he returns what? I think the Japanese name for that move makes a lot more sense. I don't know what it is exactly, but I think it was something like love tackle or something. Something based on love and affection or something, which is what determines return's power. Uh, hmm. I don't think you can cross that barrier, I mean, why have it there if you are able to cross it, so... How am I supposed to line this thing up then? Do I need to do something with what's down there, perhaps? Okay, this one is definitely confusing me. Maybe I'm gonna need this? And then this one? No, that doesn't to be it. Maybe I need to reset the puzzle. And I probably want to go back and heal anyway. Oh nice, that little shortcut there definitely gonna be helpful. And then this one, this one's nice and easy. Just rotate it a couple times and there we go. Oh I just noticed but those buttons actually have little arrows on them that show you just exactly how far they're gonna rotate the stuff. That's pretty nifty, I didn't even notice that. Anyway fly back to the Pokemon Center, heal right up. Because Torterra's seen better days, Kabite is down. And they're pretty much my main go-to guys for this gym, so I can't really go on with them in this condition. So let's patch them all up. And I will take a sip of my drink in the meantime. <sighs> Delightful. Good as new. Okay, back to the gym we go. There we go, all the way up here. I still don't really get the, uh, the solar panels for roads and all that stuff, because if you walk on them, they will get dirty, which will mean they don't really take in sunlight all that well anymore, I presume. I don't have solar panels on my own roof, but I would assume that you'd need to keep them clean at least. Seems logical. Anyway... See, the blue one rotates some clockwise, the green one rotates some counterclockwise. That's pretty nifty, and I, I can't believe I've never seen those arrows before. They're really quite obvious now that I look at them. Alright, here we go. Now we just need to figure this one out. This seems to make sense, but that lightning barrier... Weird. Can you perhaps... Oh, that is mean. Why have that thing there, then? Uh... Oh, it's our terror still up front. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work just fine. But why have that barrier-looking thing there if it's not a barrier? That's just gonna freak people out. It's gonna mess with their heads. Anyway, what do you have? Zachary with an E instead of an A? That's weird. <laughs> Just watch someone watching this go, Oh, hey, that, my name is Zachary with an E instead of an A. That'd be hysterical. Anyway, all these Electabuzzes seem to have Iron Tail for some reason. It's really not a good move on Electabuzz at all. Should have 
going and taught it Ice Punch or something. Now that's a good move on Electabuzz. Well, not really, because Electabuzz is more of a special attacker. Which is weird, because you think something that buff and muscular would be a pretty good physical attacker, but its special attack is actually a lot higher. And a Magneton. Mirror Shot. Oh, he is not having much luck with his accuracy. And Mirror Shot, I think that's... Uh, 85%? 90%? Fairly accurate, at least. And down goes the Magneton. Still would have loved to see a Magnazone in here. That's really the only strong electric type this place doesn't have. Oh well. What, what does this game have against Magnazone? First, he isn't in the Steel Gym. Then he isn't in this one. And how do I get this? Alright, I believe that that's where this one comes in handy. Let's go back up and see what we did. Yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Okay, Volkner. Yep, everyone's good as new. Uh, we shall put Rotom up front. Not really sure what I'm thinking there, but... Uh, I don't really remember what Pokemon he leads with, though. I believe... I think Raichu. I guess we better get this done. Yes, we'd better get this done, alright? Because it's been way too long since the last gym battle. It's been like eight episodes. Or so. Yeah, really only because we had all that Team Galactic bullshit to deal with. Oh, and he leads with Jolteon. I thought Raichu for some reason. Oh, well, I think Rotom can deal with a Jolteon. Especially if he's only going to use Bloody Charge Beam. I can't see that doing a lot of damage. Oh, oh, of course he gets a critical hit. Oh, well, let's just see what Shadow Ball does. About half, maybe? Oh, that is disappointing. How is Jolteon so bulky? It must be the level difference, I'm guessing, because Jolteon is not bulky at all. Another Charge Beam. At least he didn't get the special attack boost. Oh, and there we go. I'm pretty sure his Jolteon is supposed to have Shadow Ball, though. Why isn't he using that? That'd be a way better move to go with. Oh, perfect. Next Shadow Ball will destroy him, and he keeps going for that Charge Beam. Shadow Ball is like one of the only other special moves Jolteon can learn. I'm, I'm sure he has it. Why the hell is he not using it? Anyway, this should take care of his Jolteon. Nice. Yeah, way to go with all those special attack boosts. Really worthwhile now. And Rotom to level 43. Charge. Really now? That's the move you're gonna learn at level 43. Luxray. Hmm. Can Gabite handle that one? Luxray is kinda tough. Nah, well. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what the hell I'm doing here with Octillery. But, uh, let's see what happens. Eight level difference and Thunderfang. I think we can kiss Octillery goodbye already. Not exactly sure what the hell my logic behind that decision. Oh, come on. That's two critical hits for him so far. Not liking the way the game seems to be stacking the odds against me. Okay, Torterra, this shouldn't be a problem for you. Go get him. Oh, crap. Well, Torterra's bulky, I might survive this. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Fingers crossed. Bloody hell. Okay, at least this time it wasn't a critical hit. But, crap. Torterra was... Uh, I kind of needed him. Okay, Porygon Z. Special attack boost, please. Yes, excellent. Alright, Ice Beam. Don't think it's going to be a one-hit KO, but definitely a two-hit KO. Oh jeez, barely. Oh crap, come on, don't get paralyzed. I need to be faster here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I actually took that rather well. Surprising, Porygon Z has like no bulk. And this should take care of Luxray. Excellent, way to go Porygon Z. Alright, two down, two to go. So next is a Raichu. Alright, let's go Raichu. I think I can take a Thunderbolt or some... Oh man, I did not know we had that move. That's gonna take me out no problem. 
Bloody hell, this is not going well, is it? What do I have left? I have Gabite, I have Staraptor, and I have Rotom. Okay, Gabite. Unless he has Hidden Power Ice, I'm pretty sure Gabite can take him. I can definitely take at least one Focus Blast. Unless he gets another lucky critical hit or something. Nice. Well, not that nice, but I, at least it wasn't a critical hit and at least I survived. Can I get a one-hit KO here, Gabite? Please? Shouldn't be impossible. Nice. Excellent. And down goes Raichu. Alright, last Pokemon is Electivire. Oh dear, this is the big one. Better get the Gabite out of there. Bring in Staraptor. I have a plan. It is Intimidate. Because Electivire is a strong as hell physical attacker. And if I can get his attack down, I might be able to squeeze out a little victory here. And I'm pretty sure I'm faster than him, so... What? Electivire is not fast at all. How is he outspeeding my Staraptor? Oh well, maybe I can take one with the Intimidate. Oh, come on! That's three already, game. The game does not want me to win this battle, it seems. Alright, Rotom. Counting on you here. When all odds are against me, go for hacks. See how well this is going to work out for me. It always seems to work out well whenever the AI attempts it. See if it works out for me as well. Come on, Electivire, pummel yourself in the face. Excellent. That's not a lot of damage. Oh well, go go Shadow Ball. I don't think this is going to do that much. Oh, that's... Could be worse, and of course he snaps out. Fire Punch. Can I survive that? Yes! Excellent! Alright, Confuse Ray again, Rotom. We need to keep him confused if we want to win this. I will say, this is pretty exciting. Definitely backed into a corner, all odds against me. Can Rotom squeeze out another victory? And of course he has the Citrus Berry on him. Bloody hell, just when I thought I was getting somewhere. Alright, Shadow Ball again. Boom. Right in the nuts. And that's not that good. Come on, hit yourself. Excellent. One more Shadow Ball could do him in now, if I'm lucky. Come on, Rotom. Critical hit now. Would be nice. Is he down? Yes, he's down. Way to go, Rotom. How many times has Rotom saved my ass like this? Pretty sure he did that in the last gym as well, and uh, against Cyrus in the Distortion World. Rotom, what would I do without you? Jeez. Pretty much figured Torterra and Gabite were gonna carry me through this, and Torterra got his ass handed pretty easily, and Gabite, well, he beat the, uh, he beat the uh, Raichu, and that's really all he did. At least they did improve Volkner's team a whole lot, because in Diamond and Pearl there were apparently so few electric types that his team consisted of Raichu, Luxray, the normal type Ambipom, and the water type Octillery. Yes, not even enough electric types to fill up a four Pokemon team. It's quite pathetic. Anyway, now that we have eight badges, Let's go and make our way towards the Pokemon League. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.